There is basically two reasons why I insert these uh, snapshots at the beginning of some of the scenes. Well, firstly, I want to, you know, kind of show you how I'm doing it, but mainly I want you to see this in perspective. Now, I, I realize from the comments and suggestions that I'm still getting, people are not realizing just how incredibly small some of this stuff we are working with actually is. For instance, this easy line that we've been working with for the last, what, three, four weeks now. Uh, we measured it, remember? And it's only six one thousandths of an inch in diameter. Uh, yeah, that's not a whole lot bigger than a human hair. So I guess you might say that these snapshots that I insert every once in a while are just my attempt to try and keep everything real. Keep the perspective real. And uh, speaking of keeping it real, there's something maybe I should mention here, just in case there was somebody that misunderstood yesterday's video. At least the end of yesterday's video. Now I don't think there was, but maybe there was. At the end of yesterday's video, when I did this. I hope you know I dubbed that sound in. When I did this. you know I dubbed that sound in. Now maybe so that I'm not going to get my lines mixed up here, this line here, we obviously don't need it. Let's see if we can straighten this out somehow here. Probably only going to make things worse. Maybe I should do this again. You know that uh, minute and 41 seconds of video that we just watched there where I, you know, did that sound on sound stuff and um, that took me the good part of the morning. In fact, you may as well say the, the entire morning. Whoops. And uh, I really enjoy doing that sort of thing. Unfortunately, you end up with doing a lot of work and having nothing really to show for it. Okay, there, now I've got them separate. Can I unhook? Oh, I almost broke this off. Okay. Now, I want to fasten this to some place believable. So I'm, I want to fasten it to this, this little piece right here if I can, and, and, and I should be able to. So, uh, let's get this back out of the way a little more. Maybe make it just a little bit tighter. Oh, I dropped my uh, crochet hook thing. It's okay. Nothing's broken. I find as I get older I'm getting more dropsy, more clumsy. But that's life, eh? Okay. There, I think I've got everything the way I want it. Now, I should be able to swing this line over and hook it onto that little piece that's sticking out there. Okay. So I want to put a little bit of tension on the line. Not, not very much, just a little bit. And then fasten it right there onto that, onto that part. But how do I hold it while the glue, while the CA cures? I realize there was a hundred feet of easy line on that spool, but I don't want to be wasting any. Um, but I think I can probably handle this better if I cut it off. I still haven't sharpened these uh, scissors, but I have angled them. There. Well, that seemed to help. Okay, let's rearrange things a bit here.
Well, that didn't work. Okay, let's try it again. I do believe it's stuck on there now. Okay, that gives me just about the right tension. Oh, I know, I should have dubbed in a sound effect, right? Okay, uh, I'll put the camera around so that you can see what I'm trying to do here. But I want to try and hook that on the other side of that thing that you can hardly see. Now I said I was going to move the camera, I guess I better do it. Now I do not want too much tension here, just enough. So I probably had it about right. Just just let this fall. And that should be okay now if I can hook that so that it it comes out of the center of that bracket that is sticking out of the mast. I don't know what that bracket was for. Maybe if I could see some real photographs we know. Now, it's it's fairly easy to have it... Oh, hey, I think that's pretty close. Let's just leave well enough alone and put a little bit of uh, uh, CA on there and uh, let it cure. Okay, I'm using my steady rest here to help. So I'm sort of reaching over, and that's when I do my most shaking. I think we just put a little on the top. Okay, that should wick its way forward down the line, which you're probably able to see right now, and I can't quite. Now, let's let that cure. Our CA glue is more than cured now, I'm sure. I just edited out that last scene. And I'm sure that you saw what I saw. And that is that as well as the CA going down the front, it also wicked its way in the back here. And in all likelihood, I have glued. Well, let's uh, lift up on it and see if we can pull it loose here. Yeah, you can see where it's glued in there. Um, okay, what I'd like to do now, if I can, is is cut right on the top there like that go nice and deep so that I go right through the easy line no one's going to see the the mark of the knife and then the plan would be to pull this out of the out of the CA glue and in all likelihood no one would ever know it was there now in order to do that I'm going to have to somehow grab hold of this to hold against myself so I don't you know, break anything, and uh, I need a miniature sawzall, a uh, reciprocating saw. If I could, you know, if there was such a thing, of course there isn't. But uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll uh, take a look with the macro lens later. Okay, I've cut it, and you're looking at it from the back side now, the opposite side to what you were. But the reason I wanted to, what I wanted to show you here is that when I was holding on to it with my fingers, I accidentally broke our little ladder loose here. So I'll have to put a little bit of CA glue on that. Okay, let's swing around and uh, see if we can yank this out of there now. You'll see that I've cut right through. Now I am hoping that I do have everything cut and that there's not some little strand connecting the two ends together here. Just gonna see if I can pull it out. What's gonna happen? Well, it didn't come the way I wanted. I wanted that uh, piece that's on the top there to come out and it didn't come out.
Well, I guess I can't lie about what time it is, can I? Still got about a few minutes to go here. Why can't I get that here? I'm trying to get that out of there. If a person could just miniaturize themselves to being really, really tiny and uh, climb that little ladder that I broke off. Oh, I think I'm getting it. Maybe I'll go up this way. I sure don't want to end up cutting off our line that goes down. Come on. Maybe if I grabbed onto this little piece with tweezers and pulled on it. Let's see if I can grab hold of that. something. I can just hear people probably screaming at their computers right now. Ah, got it. Okay, we got it. Okay, I just looked at the monitor there and there does appear to be a little piece of easy line right there. sure there was somebody out there in video land that thought that I was dubbing in that two o'clock clock chime but it was real now according to this uh, step that we're in right now we have to run a line down each side from here down to about here but I think maybe this is a good spot to cut today's video off and we'll uh, continue on tomorrow. You know, uh, I was just looking at the little post that we that we made there, uh, the turnbuckle. Um, not only does it need to lean a little bit more forward, but I'm wondering if we should paint it. It kind of looks like a piece of plastic. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.